so I'm so excited about this video and I'm actually doing uh, my first Halloween makeup look for this year and I'm so so excited you guys don't even know but I've created this look and um, it's the uh, like devil demon nun that's from the conjuring 2 this kind of headpiece it was really cheap off Amazon it was like four pounds five pounds this isn't, this isn't even the way you put it but it goes with the look and it's not it's easy to talk with it's very comfortable this was just like a napkin that I wrapped around my head and head pinned it super easy to create you can also create this with only like simple face paints and um, yeah oh and by the way guys just to let you know um, the picture that I have been using as inspiration is this picture that I got, got off Google I didn't really use the one from the film I just used this up Thing because it looks much more real, like really defined and more even scarier so I just use this also don't forget to follow me on social media I'm Anushka with two S's and two A's on Instagram and on Twitter and snapchat I'm Anushka Beauty but everything will be linked in the info box and make sure to share this video if you guys liked it um, so yeah if you want to know how to get this look then just keep on watching so to start off this look I'm going to be laying down my brows and I'm using this Pritt glue stick and I'm applying a lot on my brows and then combing it out with a spoolie brush and you really want to flatten them down. Do two three layers if you need to but with this glue stick I literally only needed one and I put a light second layer as well. Just let it dry. I also then took some Rimmel Stay Matte Powder and Transparent and just set that in place. Now I'm using the Bobbi Brown Dark Peach Corrector just to kind of colour correct the darkness in my brows so that when I put the white on top it will not look grey or ashy or it wouldn't come through hopefully. Um, I'm using the Meron Clown White um, paint, face paint and this is like super super pigmented. I was really happy with the pigmentation. You just need to work with it and warm it up in your fingers because it's quite tacky and it's kind of hard to blend sometimes but it's so pigmented like... I'm so happy that I got this. Um, so I'm just um, applying some of my fingers and then just blending it all out with my beauty blending sponge. I'll probably need to buy a new one but I'm going to try and wash it and see if I can use it for every day still. Um, and I'm just applying this everywhere down my neck and then just to set that in place I'm, I'm using the white eyeshadow in this Makeup Revolution powder so that it doesn't budge. I'm now using the Bobbi Brown Long Wear Gel Eyeliner in the shade Black Ink just around my eyes and I'm using this on my lower waterline and tight lining with this as well so that there's no flesh coming through. Once I'm done doing this on the second eye, I'm now taking the Kryolan Aqua Colour Face Paint and uh, you need to mix this with water and I kind of started stippling it off a brush but that was quite messy so I ended up taking the Makeup Revolution stippling brush and just lightly dabbing this all over my face and what this is doing is giving a bit of texture to the skin, it's not like plain white, um, it gives a bit of a texture and like a yucky texture to it so um, I just dabbed this on my skin and I used the sponge as well just to soften it up if it was too harsh in some areas. I did buy the nun outfit, headpiece outfit kind of thing on Amazon for £5 like I said in the intro and just putting the neck piece first just to see that I covered my neck properly and then here I'm going to be doing my lips as well with the same Bobbi Brown Longwear Gel Eyeliner and you really don't have to be neat with this seriously like nothing about this look is neat whatsoever. I'm then grabbing the Anastasia Shadow Couture Palette and using the shade Noir which is the blackest black eyeshadow I've ever used and just smudging this around my lips so what I did in this bit I really kind of looked back and forth from the picture I really made sure that I was imitating the picture um, it's n and then you just have to kind of imitate it it's just I don't know how to explain it but it's really random you just need to blend it in random areas just make sure that as you go out so that the um, shadow blends out a bit more uh, as you were doing a eyeshadow look and I'm doing the exact same thing around the lids and again I keep looking at the picture to see how far the black goes and where I should be stopping and I really try to blend the black on the edges as well to make sure there's no harsh lines now I'm using the Snazaroo uh, black face paint and I'm mixing this with water to activate it and I'm using this really thin brush. I bought this brush set from Amazon for £5 and they're really really thin precise brushes, they're so good. I will link them in the info box for you guys but I am trying to recreate uh, Valek's nose. 
So what I'm doing is tracing the uh, bridge of the nose and making it look a bit wider and crooked and then I'm trying to make my nose look pointier and longer so what I'm doing is I'm shading the lower part of my nose to make it look thinner and pointier um, it's really uh, about shading so if you're using the picture try to look where all the darkest areas are on the nose and try to imitate that so I'm just putting black in any shadows there are and um, now I'm shading the sides of my nose to make sure that to give an impression that the that's where the sides of my nose start um, and where you have the white that's highlighting it so it makes it look wider so basically all I'm doing really is trying to imitate the picture and um, wherever I see dark I put some black if I see some shadow I try to blend the shadow in those areas like here I'm shadowing around the nose just to give it more depth can't see can't say depth oh gosh um, and yeah really you just have to practice try practicing um, beforehand but really it's just copying off the picture if you can um, and if you mess up you can always use the white and go back in I did kind of mess up here and I'll show you guys I'll show you guys later on in the video I kind of took it off and fixed it up with the white paint and then went back in with the black paint here I'm making some frowny faces just to make my frown my, well my smile lines kind of show through more and this is just giving a really um, upset angry kind of look to the to the demon face I guess um, and I'm just shading those lines and now I'm just starting to kind of contour the cheeks I would say um, really making my face look thin and skeleton-y like <laughs> if I'm saying that right but um, if you look at the picture he has the well the demon has quite deep cheekbones and um, so that's what I'm trying to do they, there's also some kind of black veins around the eyes so I did that with the thin brush and I'm frowning my eyes just to create those angry frowny line on my face and this just adds a look because it makes it look really angry and here again um, I'm just creating the lines to make my face look very hollow and then closest to the line that I created I'm adding more black and as I move downwards I'm using less pressure on the brush and making it fade away and I also did some shading around my forehead and as you go towards the mouth area you want to use less pressure uh, on the brush and you want that area to be the lightest but the area by your ear needs to be the darkest. This is the bit where I kind of decided to erase the bit of my nose and um, I added a bit of more of the clown white paint and I made the, not the, well, the sides of the nose look higher. Um, because I thought that it was a bit too low and then I just added more definition with the black so it just made it look very pointy and witchy looking and then here I'm just adding the final touches I decided to shadow my jawline as well to try and make my face look even more thinner and longer at like just like Valak's face and um, that's it really I just added some finishing touches around the eyes and the mouth area I went back in with some white paint as well just to highlight some areas where I wanted more light to be and I also did clean the cheekbone lines as well just to make it look a bit neat. I then found this close to white napkin in my house. I didn't really have anything to imitate this part of the nun look so I just used a napkin and I folded it in half, put it around my forehead and I uh, used some head pins to tie it to my hair so it stays in place and then I used the headpiece from that um, kit that I got from Amazon and I'm just going to place that on top but I'm not going to put it as the models wearing it I just put it in a different way that was how it looked on Valak and that's all I did for the headpiece really I did also add some paint on my ears just to kind of camouflage them and also on my neck so there was no skin showing through so after cleaning up some areas with some white paint again, I am going to be putting some contact lenses and these ones I got from Mesmerize, not Mesmerize, the brand is Mem Mesmerize but the website the way I got it from I'll link it in the info box and these are the wolf yellow ones and that's it for this look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up if you did and let me know what other looks you would like to see and I'll see you next time. Bye!
Nu știu, 